Welcome to St. Louis, Missouri. Sean and I just came back from Kansas, so we said, why not? Let's stop in St. Louis. We've only got 36 hours, so let's see how much of this beautiful city we can get into. Welcome to St. Louis. And if you haven't already done so, you can't go to St. Louis without visiting the very famous St. Louis Arch. Let's head to that entry. The pathway to the Gateway Arch is clearly marked to easily identify the ticketing area and National Park Security Zone. The queue line for the tickets is also inside a climate controlled building, which is pretty sweet on a hot, humid summer day. I do recommend arriving early or at least placing a ticket order online during their busy season. We have to wait almost three hours for the next tram tour. So we weren't able to just hop on and do the arch tour, but they did offer a combo which allowed us to do the river cruise first and then we can do our arch tour. That way we don't have to sit for another three hours and wait for our tour to start. So let's go ahead and head to that mighty Mississippi River. Actually, I just realized this is my fourth city that I've been to along the Mississippi River. That's how massively long this river is. I've seen the Mississippi in Minnesota. I've seen the Mississippi in Memphis, Tennessee. I've seen it in St. Louis. And I've also seen it in New Orleans, Louisiana, where it hits that Gulf of Mexico. In less than an hour, I'm gonna be inside this metal tube, heading all the way up to the top. I don't have any facts about it because this is, I have to learn about it on the tour. Look at how high we're about to go up. Nice. I can't wait. All right, but let's get on the boat before we miss it. The walk to the river cruise only takes a few short minutes. You can either take the stairs or one of the ramps to get you to the boarding area. Once we got a bit closer, we did end up seeing cars driving to a small parking lot that was adjacent to the boat. It is so humid out here today, oh my goodness. This boat offers both indoor and outdoor seating, but we chose outdoor, that way we can see more things up close. All right, let's have a seat. Now usually I really like to sit up top, but today it is like in the 90s, high humidity. I can't sit up there today because then it would make the ride really miserable. There were limited seating options available on the top deck, but I think that this provides excellent photo opportunities with unobstructed views of downtown St. Louis and the mighty Mississippi River. And the prices for the snacks aren't too overpriced. Cheers to that. We've finally set sail and it's time for a one hour scenic cruise. Yeah, we're not really enjoying ourselves. We can't hear. They just did an announcement. We can't even hear it. Like, I have no idea what was said. Candy Cami does not recommend. It's finally time to board our tram all the way up to the top of the St. Louis Gateway Arch. Boarding was a bit different and not at all what I expected. If you're claustrophobic, I don't necessarily recommend this activity for you. You'll be enclosed in a small circular capsule with about four other guests for four minutes until you get to the top. Illinois! Nice! I wonder how long we have up here. Ten minutes. Ten minutes? That's a long Ten minutes. time. The views are excellent and there's a tiny museum with photos and things up top, but ten minutes is a long time to just stand around. And after a fun day in the sun, let's check into our hotel. The hotel that we're staying at is called The Jury, and it's a pretty decent chain. And this is my first time staying at this location, um, downtown St. Louis. So we've parked our car. It's very centrally located to the arch, as well as the riverboat. So I'm super excited. They also serve like a continental dinner and they have a hot breakfast. So let's do a hotel tour. The thing I really like about this hotel is to even call the elevator, you need your key card. So let's call the elevator. And here we go. Spacious fitness center. All the equipment that Mariah will not use. I was gonna say. I love it. If I knew what any of this equipment did. Another thing that I really enjoy about this hotel chain is that we get four drink passes between two adults. So it's like a wine or a beer, but still, that's really nice um, that that's included in the price of your room. So I you said John can have all four of my passes. I thought you said six. Did we say six? Did we get three a person? Oh yeah, we get three. I'm sorry, it's not just two. So Sean can have six drinks tonight. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Nice. I always love 
same here. I don't know. I've never had an issue here before. And I don't know how to turn on the light. As I say, I don't have an issue. Super familiar. Oh, it's warm. Indoor heated pool, but there's an outdoor patio, and let me show you why I really like it. That. So later on today, we can come and enjoy. Oops, trying to find it. There it is, the St. Louis Arc. Yay! And I guess downtown, right? <laughs> we love the jury. And even though they provide you with three drink tickets a night. It's okay to ask for a mocktail. It's a pretty good one too. Dinner served between 5.30 and 7.30 each night. It is continental, all you can eat buffet style meals. I do recommend getting there early because when we arrived it was slim pickings. Does anyone else like to find new casinos for each vacation? We love free play. Is there a science or art to playing at the casino? Because we never seem to win. And I mean never. Or should we just enjoy the pretty colors as they spin by? We found a rooftop bar. We are on the 26th floor of the Hilton downtown. On top of the roof. Such a fun atmosphere, fun environment. I wish we dressed up a little bit better, but we know for next time. And after a full day in the sun, rooftop drinks at the Hilton, we came back to the jewelry on our own rooftop patio and enjoy the last views of the St. Louis Arch because in the morning, we're heading back to Indianapolis. Good morning. Let's go get some breakfast. And then let's get into our day. Oh man, they always have so many wonderful options for breakfast. I love having breakfast at the jury. If you haven't been there before, I hope that you love it as much as we do. This was my first time actually seeing a pancake griddle at a jury. We love the breakfast at the jury, so we made sure to fill up our stomachs because we do have about a four hour drive back to Indianapolis. This has been another Candid Cami Travels video. I hope you guys like the content. To keep it coming, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It means so much to me. Thanks for watching.